everybody, this is going to be a real quick update video with um, updates about driving, how that went, um, school, and just general life things that have happened this week because this has been a very busy week for me and I apologize if my hair is kind of all over the place. I need to cut my bangs and I've been really productive with other things. It's just my bangs is not one of them right now. Um, so as far as school, I just passed the orientation test and now I'm in for two years with Penn Foster. So that's really cool. I'm really happy about that. Um, it actually wasn't as, it was more of like a mental thing than it was actually going through with it. Um, it wasn't as daunting as I had initially thought because you know how like you build this stuff up in your mind and in your mind it's always like a billion times worse than what it actually comes out to in real life. That's kind of what happened. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. I was actually really proud of myself because um, I'm like, I, I just, I, you know how like you kind of self-doubt a lot? I know I tend to a lot. <laughs> um, that's something I need to work on a little bit bit. Not a little bit, a lot. But, um, I'm happy about that. As far as driving, I did fail the, um, computer test the first time, which was back in, like, uh, second to last week of February. No, it was the second. It was, like, mid-February that I took it the first time and failed. But then next time I went back, I passed it. And, um, I have the book that they gave me. I have the paper, my temp, um, ID slash license. I, <laughs> I hate my photo on it. I wish I could show you guys, but it has a lot of, like, personal information. And, like, it's just not a good idea. Um, Linda and I were supposed to go practice driving this week. We couldn't because of this COVID-19 virus pandemic scare which that's not been fun to deal with let me tell you um that has been it, it's been a mess like my family's super worried about it and like the whole world is super worried about it and panic buyers and this that and the other but um just listen to what the CDC has to say. Wash your hands. Limit contact with people. Groups of 10 or less, I believe is what they said. Um, stay inside as much as you can. Um, and, and don't, don't panic buy. Don't hoard supplies and everything. Other people need supplies too. And if you have enough, just stop with it, you know? Um... That's all on that front, I think. Oh, oh, oh. I did have a doctor's appointment scheduled for today, but they called me saying because of the COVID-19 coronavirus, saying that they had to cancel all non-essential appointments, which was a good and bad thing. They were able to just get my prescription over the phone, and I went and got it today, so now I have my rescue inhaler back, which is great. Um... What else did I do today? I've been super productive, but also super lazy at the same time. Um, that's pretty much it as far as like updates for like the last week, three weeks, I think it was that the last video I uploaded was like three weeks ago. So been a, been a weird, good, but weird couple of three weeks lately. Um, I am gonna, sort this whole bookshelf. <laughs> I've had a lot of these books since like I was a little kid. I'm gonna just show you like the extent of all of this. Let me... So there's like a ton of, well not, I shouldn't say all of them I've had since I was a little kid because a lot of these are like more recent. But like there's a ton of books, comic books, all that, that have just been accumulating over the years, which, they're great books, and I love them, but, like, this is a lot. I need to get rid of some of these. Also, there's a bunch of my figurines. There's little, um, 
Gregory Horror Show figures, Steve from Minecraft. Oops. All that. I just want to show this off. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's about it. This wasn't planned. This is a really impromptu update video. I'm hoping all of you are staying safe out there and listening to the CDC and you're washing your hands. And um, I know here the uh, bus, metro bus system and everything affiliated with it right now, they're waiving fare fees. So, like it's free, which that's good because that's going to be a big help in getting to work and all that. Um, and, uh, that's about it. I'm gonna work on this bookshelf and get rid of this stuff, and next time I record a video, it's not going to be an update. It's going to be, like, an actual crafting video or, like, a fun video or something like that, I'm hoping. Um, please, please try to stay in good spirits while all this is going on. I know this can be scary, but it'll all be okay. As long as we follow, you know, what the CDC is saying and keep up to date, informed, and all that, everything's gonna be okay. Um, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Please stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one.